And are, are the Phillies the best team you've seen in person this year so far, John? I, I think what they're built for is this kind of chip on their shoulder last year, sour taste in the mouth. Yes, they have a roster that uh, that has got the least amount of weaknesses. They have to stay healthy. You know, they've had their best catcher go down. He'll be back. They had Jay, Jay Turner coming back. So Trey Turner coming back. So I think they they definitely have cured up most of their issues that were kind of plaguing them the last three to four years. Their bullpen's way better, and they just have a chip on their shoulder. If they get to the playoffs in a position, which would be ironic, let's just say they get the best record and they have to wait the five days, hmm. see how they handle it because they've beaten the best team in baseball the last two years when they had the five-day break in the Atlanta Braves. So this will be an interesting dynamic, especially if the Braves end up playing the Phillies in a reverse role. So we'll see what happens. And it seems every year, John, there's some team post all-star break that just goes on a run, some magical run. It all fits. It all guts together. Is there one team that you can identify? I know you don't have a crystal ball. This is one of those tough predicting type questions, but if you could say that's the team that I think uh, can either make a move or figure out, iron out some rough spots from the first half to go on some sort of, second half run to make them dangerous to potentially even win it all would be which team, John? I think this team management will have to change their philosophy in a drastic way and start adding for a change. The Pittsburgh Pirates are the most intriguing team in the National League with their power arms at the front of the rotation, and they have a chance to spoil a lot of people's dreams if they make the dance. But they've got to add. they got to stop doing what they've been doing and kind of recoiling every time they get in a position of just adding talent and trading their superstars. So to me, they're intriguing along with the Cincinnati Reds and certainly the St. Louis Cardinals have battled back. But I think the most dangerous team with Jones and, and Skeens and, and, and Heller and all the different things they have going for them, man, I would not want to play the Pittsburgh Pirates when it comes down to a, a short series, yet alone any kind of series. And that's given they give the leash and manage the innings of those two young pitchers. Yeah, only a half game out of the wild card despite being two games under 500 in this crazy National League mosh pit, but a game and a half uh, out of the second best seed in the wild card picture. I mean, Skeens 4-0, 53 strikeouts and 39 and a third, seven starts so far, just seven walks with an ERA of 2.29. How good do you think he is and can be, John? Well, I, I would say he's this good, and I can't find too many pitchers other than Jacob DeGrom that you could say this. He could throw all fastballs and win a baseball game. He wouldn't even need his secondary stuff. Now, he's becoming a complete pitcher, and the only thing he risks with that low three-quarter angle is that slider can get a little um, flat at times, and that's the pitch that they, they can only have a chance on. But when he's right and he throws his fastball in the command zone that he has, he is an illusion that hitters don't like to see. It's an awkward, big guy release point, so different than what we're used to. And again, I cross my fingers. I, I hope he stays healthy. But you know what the rhetoric is, and you know what baseball has had a problem with, is these hard-throwing, flame-throwing freaks um, are not lasting as long as they should. So I hope he's an outlier, and I hope that the Pittsburgh Pirates can start keeping their own talent instead of us talking about all the great pitching that is with everybody else. And they need to start keeping their own talent, build that, that fan base back, and be relevant again. And baseball's better when they are. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.